Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hardcore. Now this might come as a shock for you, but I am not me. You see, the problem here is that my internet kind of died. So Minecraft was just like, you know, I don't feel like loading his skin today. We'll just make him some random non. So last video, I started going on a hunt for... That actually. I need, I, I need more of those. I need some of those. What happened to your eyes? So, the plan for today. Loot this general area of anything related to cows. And get plenty and plenty of leather. So, you know what that means? <laughs> you know, killing them would be pretty stupid. I'm just gonna read them. Now, I know this title of the video said I was gonna talk about grammar. And a very specific uh, area related to grammar. Ooh. That, my friends, is a cash crop. And speaking of cash crops, I should probably mention I'm imposing a new rule on myself because I feel like it. Just shut up. Whenever I find a village or a villager area, I am not allowed to reset their trades. Yes, this was definitely inspired by Dan TDM. But if you're those concerned, it is day 13 on this world. I have not been keeping track of when the days change. My freshman year started. Uh, I think I said this, I think I talked about this a little bit in episode one. Uh, I had an English class, was probably the best English, one of the best English teachers I've ever met. It's like really chill, really, really laid back, really la relaxed. I really like that guy. Part of his lesson plan for that year involved teaching grammar. And I was confused about that. I was like, why the heck do we need to learn grammar? We're s we are we are freshmen. We do not need to learn grammar. Apparently, we did. We had an essay. That was the Odyssey. I'm pretty much just echoing stuff I already said in episode one. He wants us to learn grammar. And so we spend a lot of time in class learning the basics of grammar. All that fun jazz. By the end of the semester, we have a grammar test. We've got two semesters and thus two grammar tests. And we got to test our knowledge of the skills in grammar. Now, because... I was already very much confident in my skills of grammar. I did work on perfecting my skills of grammar throughout elementary and middle school by writing, not finishing, but writing nonetheless, a couple of books. Not to mention the hundreds and hundreds of writing prompts just in regular English class, so I think I was covered, but that was my old school. This is a whole new playground. We start the grammar test, but because I've already done that stuff, when I was when we were doing the grammar lessons, I didn't really pay too much attention, which was not smart of me. I should have been paying more attention. What am I doing with my life? You guys come with me. In the grammar uh, classes, we learned the terminology of grammar, some degree of how to use it, some degree, most mostly just terminology, noun, verb, what types of noun, what types of verb, stuff like that. I didn't focus too much on the lessons. I justified that with, I already know grammar. I don't need to focus on the lessons. I can just do my own thing. Which, of course, was probably incorrect, but it somehow worked out for me. As I mentioned in the first video, I, I don't know if... I can't remember if I edited that out or not. And I can't check because my internet's down. There's so many animals here. And a village. They have cow. So, I had a 504 because, you know, uh, I have executive functioning skills. Hi! Add a variable to help clear some stuff up. So, what the heck is a 504? Basically, they're a little piece of paper that give people with things like attention deficit or hyperactivity disorders, not to name a specific example or anything, superpowers! And they can bend the system to their every whiff and whim! Uh, to a limited extent. One of the things on my 504 was... I don't know if it's simple or complex, the 504, but... It's a 504... And it allows me, it allows, why are all of you in the pen? Every single one of you. 
How? Why the heck are you just standing there? Get a job! So one of the things on the 504 allowed me to get an alternate assignment for something. Because, like, I don't know, I'm guessing it's like, if the, re if the regular assignment was boring, and I wouldn't, and I'd be too bored to actually complete the assignment, then I'd get option B. Because I had not memorized any of the terminology on the test, and the test was like 100% terminology. I mean, there's also four level analysis, but nobody loves those. Orphan. I should probably clarify that rule about villagers a tiny bit. So, I'm not allowed to cycle villagers' trades by breaking and placing their job block. I am allowed to give the villagers jobs, but once they have a job, I cannot take that job from them. That, that employment is final. So I should probably take out that smoker before that butcher gets anything. You're not supposed to be able to pen. No, 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 no. I thought so. Yeah, exactly. I thought so. No, you ain't getting that job. That job's mine. So I asked my teacher, who we'll call Mr. Books, as we did in the last video. I asked my teacher for an alternative to the quiz, and I asked that my alternative be writing him a story. That sounds harder, but it's really not. <laughs> at, le at least not for me, because the original assignment I would have gotten a terrible grade on. I, I would have, I memorized like zero of the vocabulary. I didn't even know how to start with like a four level analysis of a sentence, but I sure as heck knew how to use grammar, so I wrote him a story about Take a guess. One guess. Based on the content on this channel, take a guess. If you guessed Hardcore or Bedwars, you'd be wrong. I just wrote it about, like, Minecraft-ish. It's supposed to be, like, some sort of, like, knockoff. Some sort of knock at the end. Like, there's a bunch of mods that, like, completely revamp the end. They just change how it generates and stuff like that. What I wrote about was kind of like that. It was definitely the end, just also not the end. Here's the plan. I'm going to get some gravel. I'm going to hope for flint. And then when I make a fletching table, I'm going to hope that the dude has the stick trade. If he doesn't have the stick trade, um, I'm going to have to venture back home and get that lava pool. I should actually do that now, probably. Okay, well, those idiots are doing whatever the heck they're doing. I'm going to go home and get some lava. So I wrote I wrote that essay and I gave it to Mr. to Mr. Books and I still don't know my grade on it. Yep. What a climactic experience for everybody. Now, you might notice that in the title it says that I bamboozled my teacher twice. So what's up with that? What what happened the second time the grammar test happened? Well, like I said, uh, there's a grammar test every semester, and we have two semesters. So uh, I was enrolled in an AP class as well. I think you you would know that if you watched my first episode, but uh, just just saying that now. I enrolled in an AP class, and an AP class has an AP test at the end of the year, but not exactly at the end of the year. So, um, one thing about my 504 I should also mention was that since I have executive functioning skills, I am also surprisingly slow at processing anything. Literally anything. If I, just ask someone else. Ask someone else. I'm that so. There's... Hmm... There's a village. I'm gonna put those these coordinates in the video so that I can just look back at the video and I'll know where a village is. Incredible! I'm smart. 
I don't think I should be breeding villagers either. I mean, transporting and kidnapping them, that's fair game, but... Uh, breeding them against their will? That's kind of a crime in real life. Home sweet home, you could not miss that site from 10 miles away. That mountain's gonna be looking a whole lot different by the end of this hardcore series, I guarantee it. Unless I die at, at like, the first five episodes. In which case, that would be really embarrassing. I came all the way back home for one reason and one reason only. You see, on episode one and episode two, I said I was, I said I was going to use this sucker for malicious purposes. There's a lava pool there that I could use for malicious purposes. There's that lava pool I said I was going to use for malicious purposes. Take that out of context all you want, but that, that rule is remaining constant throughout the rest of the world. Oh, yeah. I didn't get a comment, I don't think, uh, so do tell me what to do with these five diamonds that I have spare. W whatever you say in the comments to do with five diamonds, I will do it, even if I don't want to. My 504, also as an accommodation, had extended test time. What trades do you have, good sir? Not useful. I tried to get that 504 sent over to... Uh, the folks that are running the AP test, and they denied it. Why? Because we only sent the 504. We didn't send any other information. We only sent the 504 because those AP guys are really, really safeguarding their precious extended time. I didn't get it. I didn't get. I didn't get none extended time. And I was like, well, shoot, I'm not going to be able to complete the stinking test without the extended time. I had, I had like a practice test in AP class, and I tried, I tried it without the extended time, because odds are I wouldn't have such an option. And I was unable to complete the test, and even when I had the extended time, I couldn't complete the test. And that was only on the multiple choice questions. We didn't even get to the full response questions, which is like the other half of the test that also takes five years. So in short, uh, I don't get this accommodation, I'm kind of screwed. Uh, a few weeks before the AP test was going to happen, uh, we got we got the information that the 504 route was rejected. Keep in mind, we sent this information to them at the start of the year. If I have to craft another fletching table, I'm gonna cry. What if you- there we go. YES! He has the perfect trades! I love you! Congratulations. Sure, a pickaxe. I guess. So, uh... I eventually started talking to the counselors because... Uh... AP test was rolling pretty close. It's been a couple weeks since we told, since we sent in the 504 again. We sent my ADHD diagnosis with the 504, so that way uh, the AP guys wouldn't try and murder me or something. I don't know. But they were taking five years to rate my qualifications or something. I I have no clue what the heck they were doing, but. They probably weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Does it really take that long to look over a few documents and go like, Yep, he's good. Have your accommodation. Or say, Nah, I don't have enough information for this. What is it, just like five old guys at the AP thing that are just running that operation? It's just five dudes grading every single paper. And is that why it takes 12 years for your test scores to come out? My buddy is in that AP class. He is still waiting for his test. And he took it in May. And I'm still waiting for my PSAT scores. That was a multiple choice quiz. Uh, I talked to the counselors. This is like a, a day or two before the test. And I was like, you, the counselors were like, well, these guys aren't probably not going to get it improved in time so let's try let's see what we can do about delaying the AP test so that way we can give you a little more time and the call the AP guys can uh take however many years to do whatever the heck they're doing now like playing poker 
So I agree. Uh, and we postponed a test to the last day of school. Last day of school isn't really a last day. Well, it's kind of a last day of school, but also kind of not. The last week of school, which is the last four days, we don't we don't have Friday off. Are is it's exams week, which to every other person would strike fear in their heart. Oh crap. Oh no, it's exams week. Oh no, I didn't study! It wasn't really that much of a big deal. We had two finals per day and then we just went home. I only had like three exams. My first period uh, that, that semester, I actually had a first period second semester. First semester, I didn't have a first period. But I didn't have a final for first period uh, that semester. Didn't really have to worry about that. Math, I had a final for. That was pretty straightforward. Uh, biology, I also had a final for. That was also pretty straightforward. I didn't do terrible on the test. I got a B, because B's for biology. Somehow I got an A in that class. I like, I like barely got an A in that class. I'm impressed. I would have been happy with a B, but I somehow got an A. So, um, Spanish teacher just was like, you can take, you can take a hike. This period class, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that confidential for now, but do know, it does not have a final, but I did lose a few sleeping hours for this class. And then sixth period was my AP class. We didn't really have a formal final for that class. That was really gonna be the AP test, but, uh, we didn't have a final test uh my teacher we'll call him mr matt but well I, I called him mr recline in the last video because of his teaching style i kind of want to call him mr maps but i think we'll stick with mr recline for the sake of consistency so mr maps uh he didn't actually have a test for his final but he was required by the school to have like some sort of final assignment whatever whatever that implied so he just had us write an essay about Marvel movies. Seventh period, that was to happen on the last day of school. And remember how I said the AP test was delayed to the last day of school? Funny enough, that happened to overlap with uh, the English final. How interesting. And on that final was, of course, the grammar test. On Friday, before finals week, I told Mr. Bucks, hey, I got like a, I got like an AP test that's happening exactly at the same time as your test. Like, just straight off the bat, he was like, alright, your excuse, and I'm like, alright, that was easy. Uh, time passes, and by the time it's Wednesday, one day before my scheduled AP exam, uh, we have gotten zero word from the AP guys regarding my, uh, accommodations and 504 stuff. We haven't gotten a hoot, holler, not even a chirp. We didn't get any emails going like, hey, it's taking time, we're grading it, thank you for your patience. We didn't receive any sign that they were even alive. So by that point, uh, Ma asked me a question. Do you wanna, do you wanna take this exam? And I was like, well, heck, ain't no way I'm taking that exam without my accommodations. I'm do I'm gonna do terrible on it. What's that practice exam scoring and consideration, consideration, and all all those other factors? I didn't have my 504 on. I I was I was basically like, yeah, I'm screwed. I'm not gonna be able to complete this exam. Cancel that sucker to the moon. I just did not go to school that day. I didn't take the AP exam. I got marked as absent. And I absolutely bamboozled Mr. Books and did not have to take my grammar test at all. I'm sorry, Mr. Books, you gotta, but you gotta understand, you gotta understand. It was really funny. So that would be my whole story was, was uh, how I bamboozled Mr. Books into not, into not having to take the grammar test twice in the same year. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, this video. 
Uh, I'm gonna try a little bit more of a relaxed editing style with the next with the next video, which is which is meaning that I'm gonna have to be a lot more. Uh, I'm gonna have to speak a lot better in the next video. So before we finish this outro, I'm actually gonna deal with a little bit of it. Hey! There he is. You're a nerd. Run, run, run. He can one shot me. Bad. So, yep. Do make sure to subscribe so that way uh YouTube YouTube knows that I'm I'm still kicking. I'm not in the grave quite yet. You can't bury me. I should really not be doing this end screen with this random nonce face. <laughs>